Golf. How are you? Hopefully by now, your game is getting a little bit better. Some of you may have taken me up on going to see a PGA professional for more lessons. Remember, they know what they're talking about. So if you want to get better, you want to go to the next level, I'm just showing you techniques that you can practice so that when you go see that guy or that gal, that PGA pro, they'll be able to get you to the next level a lot quicker where you want to be. Because I know in the beginning we talked about players that shoot 100 and above and uh, players that shoot like uh, 100 to 90 or uh, 90 to 80 type of player and even the ones that smoke it from 80 to 70. We talked about this early on in these podcasts. So today, what I would like to show you is my pre-shot routine. If you don't have a pre-shot routine, you're in trouble. So I'm going to show you mine. Remember, 21 wins and four major championships in the amateur tour. Remember that. So I'm going to show you my pre-shot routine as a technique for you. You'll see what I actually do and I'll be explaining it to you along the way. So after this technique, I got a couple of guys that are waiting in the wings just chomping at the bit. We want to listen to them as well. I think they're able to help a lot of us, a lot of us older golfers. All right, so we got that all out of the way. So. Stay tuned for that, and I'll be back at you to report on the findings afterwards. Peace out. See you in a minute on the turn. This is my pre-shot routine. One of the first things that I always do is make sure that the toe is up. Um, it gives me a good feel to let me know from the club face position that my toe is up, not hooded, not, not uh, sitting off. I always step in right foot, set the face club down, get a good balance, take a deep breath, and then hit the shot. It repeats itself. Toe goes up till I get a good feel. I look down range, I draw an imaginary spot where I want it to go to about a foot in front of the ball. I put the club face down, step in with the right foot, trying not to move that face off of that mark. I step in with the left foot, I get comfortable, good balance, good width, my feet are shoulder width apart. Take a deep breath, hit the shot. This one I really like, it's one of my favorites, <laughs> only because I hit it about two feet from the hole before I ran out of film. But you saw again, the club face goes up. This is a fairway shot, right foot in, left foot in, good balance, take a look. Deep breath, relax, hit the shot. Same, the toe goes up. You see that, try to get a good feel. I do this each and every time. I do this at the range. I do this every time I play. There's no sense going to the range and just pounding balls if you're not working on something. I always work on my pre-shot routine to remind you what I'm supposed to do. Deep breath, good balance, hit the shot. If you do not have a pre-shot routine, you need desperately to develop one. It'll quiet your conversations around you from your friends, your players, or noise. Uh, it'll get you focused and help you dedicate. Develop a pre-shot routine. It does nothing but enhance your game. Deep breath, relax, hit the shot. Good afternoon, golf fans. B-Man back on the patio. I'm here with Tom Maloney, one of the Ospreys, one of our favorite group players. Tom, welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you, B-Man. I'm fine and great to be here. Thank you, young man. Let's just start with something real easy. How old was Tom when he first started playing golf? I was 14 and I got into golf at the age of 14 because that's how old you had to be to be a caddy at the Orchard Park Country Club. Orchard Park is a town outside of Buffalo, New York and home of the Buffalo Bills. I started uh, caddying at the Orchard Park Country Club and on Mondays uh, you were allowed, it was maintenance day, and you were allowed to play golf at the country club with the other caddies for free. And that's how I got started. Wow. And yet you still continue to play today. Why? Um, 
My, I have five brothers. Uh, they all play golf. When we're on the golf course, we're very competitive. Uh, we also had a, an all-night par three golf course built when we were little kids a mile from our house. And we spent a lot of time playing that par three golf course. Uh, so I got the bug early. I slacked off a while when I was in college and starting my family. I coached girls softball for seven years and I did not have enough time for golf at that time. But I, for 25 years I've played in a golf league. Also very busy at work. And so today, uh, just last summer, I retired and I joined the Ospreys last year and I love the group and uh, so now I have time to play golf and lo and behold I find that my golf game is getting better. So from now Tom from 14 till now what has golf meant to Tom? I think that uh, I'm a competitive person so uh, it has meant competition. Uh, I'm think I'm kind of a gregarious guy and uh, it is great to play golf with my brothers and my friends and so it is a competitive thing it is a skill thing it is an outdoor thing and it is a people thing for me now if you had to give a tip if you would to golfers what what tip would Tom Maloney give don't try to hit the ball harder <laughs> That's a good tip. I love it. Tom, we appreciate your time. Very candid. Very important information. Good afternoon. It's B-Man. That's right. B-M-A-N. Golf. T-T-I is the location. I am sitting out here with the first lady to be on the podcast show. This is Liz Roscoe, who's a judge. So go figure that in Canada. Liz, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm great, thanks. All right. Now, uh, just like the men, without changing it up, because I want to see how your answers fit in with theirs. How old was Liz when she first started playing golf? I started when I was 13. I played for two years when I was 13 and 14, but I didn't really like it back then. Mm -hmm. I think the reason I didn't like it, my friend and I, uh, played, belonged to a club, and we always played with our mothers. We preferred to do things without our mothers at that age. <laughs> and we could play tennis and go to the canoe club and do other things on our own with the other kids. So we really didn't like golf that much. But I did learn how to play, and I learned the rules and the etiquette and all that, which later on, when I did want to play, when I was in my 20s, um, and I was working, uh, and it was important for business purposes to be able to go with the guys when they're having a golf tournament or something. Um, I was glad that I knew how to play, although I didn't belong to a club again until I was 40. But since 40, the age of 40, 30 years ago now, yeah. I've, I've You're been looking good. You're a, looking great. A, an avid golfer, and I really enjoy it. Oh, my word. Yeah. Um, now, you mentioned business opportunities to go with the guys. Can you, can you kind of enlighten us on what kind of business well, you see, were in? I, well, I was a lawyer starting out, and then I became a judge later on. But as a lawyer, uh, the law firms, every law firm, they had, like, getaway weekends for the guys, and they'd go play, they'd go play golf. So I was the first woman in my firm, and mm -hmm. it was a big deal. Well, were we going to ask her to come or not, you know? Yes. Um, and I kind of said, well, I know how to golf, so yes, I should go. You're going to have meetings while you're there. I need to go to the meetings, too. So it became uh, an opportunity. If I didn't know how to play golf, I probably wouldn't have even gone away yes. for the weekend with the, with the guys. So um, also, it, uh, playing golf um, allowed you to meet people. And when you're a lawyer, you like to meet lots of people so that you can um, be their be their lawyer, meet clients. Indeed. But now, this day, now that yes. I'm retired, okay. I, I was just saying to my friend in there, what golf means to me now mm. is an opportunity to meet people. And I know about 100 people here at Dunedin that I would never meet, I would never have met you if I didn't play golf, and all the other women and men that I play with here at our home club. I know about 200 people 
people there and the club we belonged to before we retired, another couple hundred people. So all together, probably 500 people that I would never have met if I didn't play golf. My word. And I think most golfers are like that. Yes. Yeah. How and powerful it, that is. And it's fun. It's a fun way to spend an <laughs> afternoon, you know, a morning. I really enjoy golf, and I'm glad that I, uh, that I play it. I'm so happy that you sat down. And if you had to give those 500 golfers that you have met, if you had to give any golfer a, a tip, beginner, intermediate type golfer, what kind of tip would Liz give? Um, I'd say that you have to enjoy your day even if you're not playing well. You know, if you're uh, having a bad day and you're not putting or chipping well or hitting it off the tee well, well, have fun anyway. Try to enjoy it. Take whatever you can out of that and have fun. That's what you're doing it for. None of us are going to make it on the tour. None of the people I know anyway. <laughs> so uh, you don't have to make your living doing it. We're doing it because it's fun. So enjoy the day. Enjoy the sunshine and the camaraderie of it and playing with other people that you're with. And competition. I love competition too. And, uh, so what if you don't like have fun trying. Have fun trying. Yeah. Liz, this has been a fantastic interview. I'm glad you dropped by and spent a little time with us today. We've learned so much from you, and I know the, the listeners are going to enjoy and the viewers are going to see this and just go, wow, okay. this lady is yeah, thank awesome. You, well, fun. thank you for coming in, Liz. All right. Thank Good you luck. very much. You All too. Right. All right. Bye -bye. Oh, wow. Wow. Fantastic, huh? I like that one. For that particular video of the technique of pre-shot routine. Why? It's one of your shots. It is literally one of your shots. If you're not pre-shot routining before you hit a ball, you might be in trouble. Always have a pre-shot routine. It clears your mind. You're looking down range of where you want to hit it. You pick out your spot. You step in, right foot, left, or right foot first, club face down on that line left foot in balance little waggle quick look pull the trigger pull the trigger is the key stepping in and pulling the trigger those things are part of your golf shot so remember b-man always says put them like he on them and rock the baby Remember to subscribe, hit like, and tell your friends.